So I get a lot of calls from rookie real estate investors here in the upstate that want to flip houses. I'm happy to help people with their acquisitions and their dispositions. But if you're just getting started, my number one recommendation is to start with buy and hold investing. And here's three simple reasons why I recommend that so much. Number one is time being on your side. When you buy and hold a property, the value gets carried up by appreciation and inflation, and you're getting the debt paid down if you have a tenant in that property. So time really works for you, not against you. When you're flipping a house, you've got a hard money loan and you've got construction crews to pay. The longer your project takes, the more money is going to be taken off of your bottom line. Number two is going to be CapEx. When it comes to things like roofs and HVAC units and water heaters, if you put a roof on a flip, you're not going to really see much of a return for it. But the buyers expect these things, so you have to do them. When I put a roof on one of my rentals, like I did last year, I at least get to depreciate that on my taxes over the long term. So ultimately, as a buy and hold investor, it's going to help me out to do these kind of repairs. Number three, though, when it comes to the negotiations, the person who has to move, the person who has to sell or has to buy is usually at the disadvantage there because they don't have the luxury of walking away. So when you're buying and holding and you have no intention to sell, if someone offers you a great sum of money for that property, you can decide to take that offer or you can just continue to hold it. When you're flipping, you got to get that house sold. All these pressures combined are why I think rookies should start with buy and hold investing.